name is Monica. I'm from Koki.com, and I'm here to tell you about the multi-level accordion widget. The widget allows you to create accordions with unlimited sublevels, and it's a great option for creating FAQ-like accordions or to just simply display your information in an organized manner. The widget is fully customizable, so you can individually customize each tab. You can have multiple sublevels, you can change the color, you can add icons, you can even add a background image if you want. And the accordion is also breakpoint friendly and fully responsive. So I'm gonna show you how to create something similar. Now there's two parts of the widget, the main part of the widget and the tab part of the widget. The first thing that you wanna do is that you want to assign an accordion name to your accordion. You can do that by going to the main option panel, panel name, and assigning a name. It's important that the main widget and all of your tabs have the same accordion name. That ensures that everything is connected so that everything works properly. So I'm just gonna recreate the accordion that I showed you earlier. So let me pull up that text. So I have two top level tabs. What are some dog breeds and where can I get a dog? So let me create some tabs for that. And each tab needs to have its own unique ID. So you can simply use the text that you want to appear on your tab as the ID. So for this one, I would put what are some dog breeds? And since it's a top level tab, you don't need to put a parent ID. But you do need to leave the text box empty in order for your ID text to show up on your tab. And then I'm gonna do my other top level tab. Make sure the accordion name is correct. And now I'm going to create my sublevels. So my sublevel for this one is Husky and Retriever. So I'm just going to copy it and then change the ID on both of them. And for this one, you would put a parent ID because you want it to be a sublevel of the one above it. And then this one has a sublevel, which is Golden Retriever. So I'm going to copy that and I'm just going to change the ID. And then the parent ID for this one would be Retriever because it's the one right above it. And then where can I get a dog has one sub level. And if you happen to have um, a paragraph or a lot of text, you can always just put it in here in the text panel. Because if you put it in the ID, that would be really long. So I'm just gonna give this a simple ID. And then one cool thing about using the text panel is that it accepts HTML inputs. So if you want to separate your paragraphs, you could do that with the break tag or the paragraph tag. You can just do this directly in Muse. But if you're copying and pasting your paragraphs over from a text editing program, make sure that you don't have any line breaks. Let me show you what I mean. So if I did so if I did this, that's a line break. If you do that, it's going to cause the widget to not work properly. So instead of doing that, do this. And you just add your HTML tag in line with everything else. And you don't do the extra returns. So let's go ahead and preview the accordion to see what it looks like. And I forgot to put my parent. Yep, forgot the parent ID. So now let's see what it looks like. And as you can see, it works with the multiple sublevels. Now let's go ahead and customize it in Muse. 
So each individual tab can be fully customized. You can change the color for each one. If you want, you can also add a background image. You can also change the size of your tabs. So let's say you want the top level tabs to be bigger. And you can also customize your arrows through the main section. You can make them bigger, smaller, change the position. Or if you want to, you can get rid of them by unchecking this box. And you can add your own icons. And right here, you can set the size that you want them to show up at. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add an icon. And there's a default and open state for the icons, but you can just put the default state icon if you want, and it'll show up when the tab is opened and closed. You can also customize the spacing in your tabs. So this one, since it's a long paragraph, we want to give it a little bit more space. And then let's preview. Well, that's all that I have for you. If you have any questions, you can check out the documentation or you can leave a comment below. As always, thank you for watching.